Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of some things you can purchase at Costco. Um, right now I'm gonna be focusing on shoes. This is my shoe haul, if you will, from probably the end of fall, so end of 2022 all the way through now and the beginning of 2023. So a lot of their fall focuses I've gotten here pretty much are gonna be the winter type shoes. Um, every year they definitely change things out. They might have 20 to 30 different options available at any given time, they cycle through. Things that are really popular sell out really fast. Last winter I got some gorgeous Tory Burch Miller sandals and they sold out within a day, all sizes. I was a little bit surprised. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised, but I'm glad I got the ones that I got when I did. Um, and then other ones like Ugg boots pretty much sell out with sizes pretty quickly as well. And then they'll have some limited edition of other things as well. So without further ado, let me show you a few of the things I bought for shoes at Costco recently. So everybody has probably seen these boots. They have them both at the warehouse and online. These are the Kirkland Shearling boots. I'll show you one at a time here. So these are the black pair. I wear them all the time, all the time. They've gotten a lot of good wear out of them. Super soft shearling on the inside here. Absolutely wonderful, well-made, nice, good traction, heavy duty soles as you can see right here. Um, I get them sized down, that's usually what they recommend. I may be an eight and a half, usually a nine in boots, but actually for shearling, they do recommend that you size down because the shearling is supposed to stretch. So if you're an eight and a half like me, you would wear an eight in a shearling specifically. Even if you wear them with thick socks, it doesn't matter. The shearling has more give than most other shoes do. So just keep that in mind. It's got this cute little flap here that can bend over. And I just love everything about these boots. I get them every single year and they don't have them every year. They have different styles sometimes, but this is probably one of my favorites. They also have a short one, which of course I have as well that I'll show you. But these, in my opinion, for the price, $30, $35, whatever it was, very comparable to Ugg. I can't speak to whether one pair is gonna last as long as a pair of Uggs because I usually buy some every year anyhow, so mine don't wear out as much. But for the price, you can't say no. You really can't say no to these, in my opinion. I would highly recommend these. This is the exact same pair in the green shade because this year they had two. Mine look kind of tan, but these are an olive green color. These ones I haven't worn as much, so they definitely feel like soft and fluffy and like very supple type of shearling going on here. The only thing missing between these and a pair of Uggs would be the logo right here, honestly. It's the same thing. Beautiful traction here. I size down to a size eight as well. And I would highly recommend these. These go like right up on your, you know, a few inches higher than your ankle. The ankle boots are about right here. Actually, I can show you right now, side by side. So size comparison for anybody who's curious. The ankle booty is this black one right here. And this one right here is the regular size. So you can see the difference. I'll put it this way for you. Right there. A couple inches difference, not a huge deal. But the trend this year is definitely these ankle booties right here. So I'm so excited that Costco is selling them right now. And they have these booties, the little ankle ones, in two colors. They have black and they have blue. I'll show you both. I bought them both, of course. But once again, just so you can see the difference in height. Show you in the front here. A little bit different. Show you on the side view. If you were standing, this is what they would look like. A couple inches and from behind here. Um, one thing that's different between these two, this one does not have that little loop on the back. This one does have that little loop on the back, as you can see right there. Otherwise, same kind of traction, same kind of sole. So a little bit more info about these small ones. This was a new find this year. I buy their shearling every year. They've had different sizes and styles and everything over the years. This one was new this year and I love it. It's so cute. I'm a big fan of athleisure. It's one of my favorite styles. So going out in public wearing cute leggings, which most of the time I also buy at Costco, along with these boots, absolutely perfect. I'm serious when I say these are a pretty good UGG uh, dupe. Um, once again, I'm not looking for a pair of these for $30 to last me for 10 years. So if you are looking for a pair of shoes like that, then yeah, maybe you do want to get the name brand. But if you want to go with the trends, if you want a pair that's going to last you one, two, three seasons, maybe even longer, depending on how much you wear them and how well you take care of them, then this would be the way to go for the price. Shearling, I mean, this is the exact same material. You've got shearling right in here, nice, thick, fluffy. The footbed is also shearling. It's a white color, but it's still shearling at the bottom. And 
and like I said before, you would definitely want to size down. So I got these in an eight. Normally I'm an eight and a half or a nine in boots. Eight for these is perfect. So let me show you the blue ones of these as well. Here's the blue. Beautiful color versus black. Show you these side by side here. Everything's the same. The makeup is the same. The size is the same. The footbed is the same. The material is the same, but it just depends on which color you like better. So once again, black versus blue. Show them to you from the front. Super cute, highly recommended. The, um, this one here, the blue one does have a brown sole, as you can see. Black one has the matching black sole. Here's the bottoms. I definitely wear these frequently. These are some of my favorites right there. But I would highly recommend getting these while they still have them on sale if you're looking for a pair of genuine shearling boots that are gonna do the function of an Ugg boot at a quarter or fraction of the cost. All right, so what else have I gotten from Costco this year? Let's take a look. All right, so every year, speaking of shearling, every single year, what is one thing that I buy? Every year, these, the shearling slippers. If anybody else has had these before, you understand. These are the way to go. All of this is shearling in here. You've probably seen these at the warehouse if you go. They do have these in the warehouse pretty much every year, usually about the same price, $20, $25, I think. Um, and I, these ones I wear every day. The other boots, you know, wear every once in a while, a couple times a week, not every, every day. These ones, every single day. So one pair of these will last me about a season. And the biggest thing that I'll notice, and you maybe start to notice it in here now, maybe you can't really see that, but the footbed here is starting to get worn down. So when these start to really wear down, what'll happen is the footbed here will start to get bare because all the shearling will go away and it'll be a bare patch here. So then it's not that comfortable. Like half your foot right here is gonna be in this bare, bland, there's nothing soft about it kind of section. So I've had that happen before. The top looks perfect and brand new and you're like, oh, I can still keep wearing these until you look at the footbed. These aren't that bad right now. These I can definitely get a lot more use out of still. And I love the fact that these have the sole on them like this. You can see mine are pretty darn well worn because I wear them every day. But I have worn these shoes if I go outside, if I go in the yard, if I need to go feed my dog, if I'm gonna go hang laundry outside, if I'm gonna go to the mailbox, perfect. These are not made for just indoor slippers. If it's slick or wet outside, 100% waterproof. They're not gonna get wet. They're not gonna get soaked through like some of the cheaper, um, softer ones without this sole half. So these, same thing. I have bought them this year, I bought them in an eight. They don't do half sizes, I've done an eight and a nine, and usually an eight and a half. Um, I would recommend going down a size in eight. I wasn't really thinking when I bought the nines, that's why I went back for the eights. I know this, and yet sometimes you just grab them and go, because you're used to, oh, size nine in boots, but no. Especially because you have all the spare room in the back for the heel. So yeah, definitely I would size down if you need to. But these, highly recommended. You can get a lot of good use out of them, and they are so cute, so cute. Actually, so speaking of slippers, this year I did get one other brand of slippers that Costco sells. Yes, that's right. I actually got a couple of pairs of Ugg boots at Costco this year. At Costco, yes, they do sell these. So let me show you the box here. There's the item number. In case you didn't believe me that I actually got these at Costco. And there's a picture of what they actually look like when I'll show you the inside here. Size eight, same thing I sized down. So. Let's take a little look, shall we? Inside here, nicely packaged. As you can see I haven't worn these yet, so this is like a real unboxing. I've looked at them before, but I have not actually taken anything out of the packaging in this pair of shoes. So this is what it would look like if you ordered these online for a true unboxing for you. It's got this extra paper here rid of that. And this is what they look like inside the box. You can see where it says Ugg right there. Absolutely gorgeous moccasin style. Even the paper, I don't know if you can see that, look, the paper even says Ugg on it. That's so cute, I love it. All right, so let's see what these actually look like out of the box. Okay, so here's what they look like. This is a moccasin style. Like I said, I never actually used these before, so they're still completely brand new. And inside of them, they have this little post and this little piece of cardboard, I guess, that kind of keeps it shaped. So this is just to keep it stretched and keep it shape. There's the back here. So these say Ugg on the side right there. And these are the softest kind of moccasin feel. I love it. So cute. 
it's so cute. And of course it's shearling. So this entire white area in here is just that super soft shearling that we're all used to. And the footbed in here is all of that too. Super soft shearling. Here's a better picture. It says, ah, uh, great right down in here. All shearling, this whole footbed here is nice, beautiful, luxurious shearling. And it goes all the way inside. So the top of your foot is also getting shearling right up here all the way in there. Oh, so soft. So one more time, I'll just give you a little look at these. The sole of this shoe, really nice too. So unlike the other one that I was just showing you a second ago, that has a really thick sole, this one does not. Do you notice the difference? So this one, if there's a little bit of rain or a small puddle, you can step through it, no problem. It's not gonna be a big deal and your shoe and your sole is not gonna get wet. This one is made, I would say, for indoor use, very minimal outdoor use. Like I don't think I would wear these more than walking down the driveway to get the newspaper on a day that's not wet, for example. Because I feel like right here, it would very easily get up here into the leather and then all of a sudden your shoes are wet and it's gonna start to get not nice for you. So just keep that in mind if you get these. These would be probably a lot better for indoor shoes, but it does have some traction here if you need it. And yes, you could do some small errands outside or especially on a dry day, you might do well. Just keep in mind if you live somewhere cold or rainy. So yes, I would highly recommend getting these. They're absolutely beautiful, super comfortable, genuine Ugg shoes. And the fact that Costco even sells Ugg shoes, like unbelievable. And of course I'm gonna buy them every time they sell them. So. I hope you enjoy these if you decide to get them. So the next pair of shoes I got this year at Costco, maybe other people have seen these too. The brand is called Tree Torn or Tret Torn, however you pronounce that. These are waterproof rain boots. These are awesome. These are heavy duty shoes. They're heavy in my hands just to carry around. So you can tell that they're made for like actual rain, actual snow, actually getting wet, not just splashed on. Like these are heavy duty boots. I have hunter boots here that I got from Costco, of course, also. I'll show you in just a minute, the rain boots too. And those are beautiful and stylish, but these, one thing that I love about these that my hunter boots don't have, for example, right here, it's got this lining on the inside. No, that's not shearling. It's just some kind of soft material like you might have inside a sweatshirt, but it goes all the way down into the footbed too. So you've got that soft material at the very bottom and all the way on the top. So even if you wanted to wear these without socks, which I don't think you would, but if you did for any reason, it'd be a lot more comfortable because you have that going all the way around. And it's got that little nub to help you pull it on if you need it, the little tab right here. And the soles, super heavy duty. You can see I've worn mine for sure. Doesn't rain too much in Southern California, but when it does, I like to be ready. So you've got these right here with those super heavy duty soles. Like there's nothing's gonna get through this, I promise, unless the shoes get worn out. These are actually made for rain. So I would highly recommend these. And let me show you up close what the brand is since I don't know if I can pronounce it accurately, but it's right there. I don't have the box anymore since I've worn them. So that's the brand of these. They had these in store, that's where I bought them from. They had them online also and they might still, but absolutely recommend if you can. Like once again, best part about these is that soft inner side and they actually hold up as well as they're functioning to and they're such an affordable price. So recommend if you have the chance. This year, I decided to splurge on a pair of Sorrells. I love Sorrells. We actually have another house, a vacation house that is in a very, very cold New England climate that we go to several times a year. And so I have the lucky chance to wear these when I go visit the house. I don't wear these every day. These are not my Southern California daily shoes, I promise. But if you live anywhere cold, anywhere rainy, anywhere snowy, Sorel is one of the top name brands. There are gonna be lots of top name brands that are gonna be waterproof, warm, made for heavy duty, snowy, wet climates. But Sorel, you can ask around, you can look it up yourself, guaranteed this is one of the top, top brands that you can get and Costco sells these. So I'm just showing you right here what it looks like. The brand, waterproof, 100% waterproof. This is like a suede material right here that I'm feeling. It's very soft, feels felty, feels like suede. Waterproof, waterproof. That's the best part about that. It is waterproof. So it doesn't matter if you step in a snow puddle that goes up to here, your foot's not gonna get soaking wet, even though you feel this and you're like, mm, I don't know. Nope, 100% waterproof. You've got some awesome looking traction, Sorrel. Nice, thick heels. Once again, it's gonna tell you the name brand, Sorrel all the way up to the top and you once again have that same easy to pull on kind of boot tab. 
got some beautiful lacing here and it's just so cute like this is definitely made to be stylish as well as functional and then the inside haven't worn these yet as you can see the inside see if you can see that gonna have the name Sorel at the bottom and it's got this is not shearling first thing I'm gonna tell you this is just like a soft micro fleece kind of material so it feels super soft to the touch but if you were thinking like oh okay I spend all the money it's shearling on the inside just be aware it's not shearling it's just something super soft and comfortable to wear so it'll keep your foot definitely warm as well but these are just so cute on so let me just show you one more little look at these I would buy these again in a heartbeat. Costco has also sold the Joan of Arc boots that Sorrel does make as well. Maybe you've seen them, maybe you have them, maybe you've heard of them, 110% recommend. I have them as well. I just don't have them here right now with me, um, but I bought them I think last year because like I said, I buy stuff from Costco every year and I actually have two of those pairs. The other Joan of Arc boots is in our uh, snow cabin. So hope you enjoy if you decide to get this. This is the kind of thing you can wear with so many cute outfits, snow pants to the lodge, skiing, everything like that. Because Costco sells Ugg, and I love Ugg. Let me show you what this one is. Here's the tag right here. All right. So depending on how you pronounce it, this is the Adirondack or Adirondack boot, the third, so third version of this exact boot. Um, when it comes to these boots, unlike the shearling, this is also shearling, but unlike the other shearling boots, these are made to be more um, heavy duty and these don't stretch the same way as the other shearling boots do. I'll show you why in a minute. But keep in mind, you might wanna size up, especially if you're gonna wear these with any type of socks, which I always do. So this is gonna be an unboxing for you because it's brand new in the box. I have not worn these anywhere yet. So without further ado, let's see what we have. All right, so same thing as the other Uggs. You have that beautiful little Ugg paper. It sounds silly, but I actually kind of like that they have the Ugg paper like that. And this is how it looks on the inside. Once again, you got that, take that out of there. Take that out of there. This is what your boots look like. And I'll take them out and show them to you up close. They had more than one color. I think they also had a brown in this one. I think they still have them online available, but black is just me. It's more me, I'd say. So I definitely chose the black in these. Let me take you, like, give you a closer look. First thing to show you is that those boots came with this little Ugg care card where you can register your product if you choose to. And it just tells you a little bit about the brand and about the different types of Ugg styles and about the waterproof features and all that kind of stuff. So that's really nice that you can learn about. Here is one of these beautiful boots right here. Give you a little spin for you. You can see now what I mean when I said that it's shearling. This is shearling right here. But this all is like a leather or leather type material that is not going to expand. So you need to make sure you size up appropriately so there's enough space for your foot and for your socks. This is where it says Ugg right there. And you can see it even says waterproof right there. Dry Tech Waterproof by Ugg. So this is all going to be waterproof like the Sorel boots. Has that same little pull tab. Here's what the bottom looks like. Let's see what this one says. Weather rated to negative 32 Celsius and waterproof. I'll show you right there. Don't ask me what that is in Fahrenheit. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So this is what this one looks like. Do a little spin again. Super cute, super cute. Um, I'm gonna be going up to visit my cabin pretty soon and I'm bringing these and the Sorrells with me. Take that out. Inside here, just so you can see, this is all shearling all the way down. So we've got that tongue of the shoe right here where it says Ugg. And then the flip side of that, shearling, all shearling, all the way down to where it says Ugg at the bottom. You can see that down there and the white color down there, same thing, shearling. So all the way down. 
So your footbed is gonna stay super warm in these. So let me just show you this in the Sorel kind of side by side, in case you were curious what they look like. So slightly different styles you can see. Sorel boot a little bit shorter, Ugg boot a little bit taller. This one has that suede kind of material, it's still waterproof, but it's got that soft suede material look. This one has more of that leathery type of look, or maybe actual leather, I don't have the manufacturer details in front of me, but um, that's one of the big differences too, if you're curious. So suede look versus leather look. This is what they look like side by side. They both have tie up front. You can see now, I'll put them side by side, height difference, not too much of a difference. They both have a soft material on the inside. The UGG is shearling. The UGG is also quite a bit more expensive, if I remember, maybe $100, $80 more. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about these boots. They will both serve the purpose of keeping your foot warm. They will both serve the purpose of keeping your foot dry. So just personal preference, which you prefer. All right, now one more boot to show you. So another thing that I buy every year are hunter boots. I love the hunter boots that they sell. So. Some years they have tall, some years they have short, some years they have medium. Um, this year, I think they only had one style, or they might've actually had the tall ones. I'm not a big fan. Like you usually need to have a pretty skinny calf for the tall boots, or they will suction cup your leg in there. I already own a pair. I know how that goes for me. It's not my favorite thing in the world. So I don't think I would buy the super tall ones again. If I was taller, if I was thinner, it'd be the way to go. But for those people, wonderful. For me, shorter is better. <laughs> so let me just show you the box. Show you the side. I ordered these online. These were not available in my store. Stores plural because I go to multiple stores. Here's the item number, information. And these ones I sized up in also size nine. So same thing. This is gonna be like an unboxing. I can find where the entrance is. So these boxes are kind of cool. They open sideways like this if you haven't seen them. And they're red on the inside. Tell you some information about the brand. Show you that just briefly. And then inside, wrapped up in some paper. Now I have worn these boots, but I like the box. So I tend to keep them if it's something I really like. The box is like kind of special for me. So these ones are a little bit more special for me. And so I kept the box. But that's why the only thing in here is this piece of paper. Like I got rid of all the other stuff. I cut the tags off and everything. So let me just take these out for you. So just like the Ugg boots, this comes with its own little card inside that looks like this. And on the back, it talks about customer service information if you need any of that. A little hologram. When you open it up, it's just a bunch of information for you to read as needed in different languages. It tells you about the foundation of Hunter, if you really want to read any of this, you can, of course. It tells you about aftercare. That's really cool, I think. There's a whole little section here. This part's in English. I don't know if that'll zoom in or not. It's just telling you about how to take care of your boots, where to store them at. You don't want to sit these outside in the heat or the sun or they're going to start cracking. It tells you how to wipe them down, keep them clean and dry. So this is really cool that they provide this because if rubber boots is not something you wear often or have, or if you're like me and the other pairs that you own are just the really cheap Walmart ones just to go through the mud and garden, then this you actually wanna take good care of. These are my little hunter boots right here. This is what they look like. These are really simple, as you can see. These are very slick, very pretty, Really nice sole, good traction. It says Hunter down there too. Um, these are obviously waterproof completely. This is a uh, English brand. Bottom of the inside says Hunter as well. Nice, thick, rubbery material all the way around. But it doesn't have, like I was saying earlier, it has like a little bit of a soft, it just feels like the inside of rubber, I don't know. It's like a slightly soft material on the inside, but it's not like the other ones that I was showing you earlier. It's not like those boots that have that really soft white material inside. This one's just kind of bland inside, but you buy this because A, it's functional. Yes, you can wear it in the rain and through the puddles, but B, 
let's be honest, the reason I'm gonna buy these instead of buying the other rain boots that I showed you was because of the name. You wanna be trendy, you wanna wear the hot English version of a trendy rain boot, Hunter's the way to go. So they will both be functional. If you wanna spend some less money, you get the other boots. If you want the name brand, you get these boots. I'm sure these will last you a very long, long time. I'm looking forward to trying them for a very long, long time as well. One last thing I wanted to show you, first of all, this jacket right here from Columbia, not really from Columbia. This jacket's from Costco. Um, it's like a three quarter button that goes down to here. It is awesome. It's so warm and comfortable. I don't think they sell them anymore. I think I got it about a month or month and a half ago. Just so you know, if you ever see them, highly recommend it. But what I wanted to show you is my favorite socks. Lo and behold, where do you think they're from? <laughs> my favorite socks that I like to wear with um, all of these different boots that need socks. Um, so I like these Kirkland wool. I'll show you these up close. I'm sure anybody who's a big Kirkland fan, you have seen these before. a four pack these are awesome this is how they look Kirkland signature this gives you the breakdown of the materials of the four socks and if you're curious this is the item number if they still have them they usually even in California they do carry these in the store for most of the winter it's a smaller selection than I've seen in the other stores and cold areas but they also sell these online um, I'm lucky that sometimes later in the year they'll mark them down a few dollars so i think i got this pair for like 14 instead of the usual 16 or 17 so not much of a savings but it's something 85 percent wool and fit shoe size six through ten and a half so if you get the chance this is definitely a recommendation well i hope you enjoyed this video there were definitely a lot of shoes covered and if you like shoes as much as i do and you like the opportunity that you can get by buying them at costco and saving some money and getting some nice quality and good brands as well I would highly recommend taking a look yourself and if you get a chance, please like this video, please follow me or subscribe and I can show you more things that I purchase and let me know what you think about different shoes that you've tried or any questions that you have I might be able to answer. Have a great day and I will see you at the next video.